twin five-year-olds killed. How is still a mystery. Deputies say the kid's mother later jumped off the 417 bridge into Lake Jessup and then died. Fox 35's Matt Trezza joins us live from the family's neighborhood today with more on this tragic story. Matt, so what's the latest out there today? Yeah, just a horrific scene. Now, uh, investigators still very much here on the street in Sanford where this all happened. You can see the medical examiner's van is pulled up to the garage of the house and it is all roped off by police tape uh, where they, while they're still collecting and gathering evidence from the scene here. Just a heartbreaking situation and deputies say uh, this woman should have reached out uh, for help sooner. Uh, and there was a silver car pulled over the, uh, the bridge there. And um, I saw this lady coming out of the passenger side window. She was really close to the side of the uh, the bridge there, and she literally like just went out the window over the bridge into the water. So. She went over the bridge into the water? Yes, ma'am. Things started coming to light this morning with reports of a car parked on the 417 bridge in Seminole County. Who saw a motorist stop their vehicle on the crest of the bridge and what it appeared to be a woman slide herself out of the passenger window of the car and jump into the St. John's River. Seminole County Sheriff Dennis Lima says fishermen below the bridge recovered the body of 31-year-old Katarea Hutto a short time later. Lima says Hutto lived in a house she'd gotten through Habitat for Humanity, as seen here in this picture on its Facebook page from July 2022. This picture was from the dedication of the family's new home. After what happened on the bridge, deputies went to that house on Alexander Avenue in Sanford and made a horrible discovery. When deputies arrived here to conduct a well-being check, they went into the house and found uh, the two children in bed who appeared at first to be sleeping, uh, later to identify that they are deceased inside the house right now. Lima said the children, five-year-old twins Ahmad and Ava Jackson, had special needs and hadn't been in school since last week. He said family services had never visited the house before and there was no known history of any problems. Neighbors say it's terrible. I am absolutely heartbroken, absolutely devastated. As a mother of a 15-year-old, it is really hard, you know, and for her to be that distraught, she, apparently she felt like she had no one she could reach out to. It's just really devastating. It just really shows the state of the world that we're in right now. Now, at this point, the question everybody wants to know the answer to is why. Perhaps that answer may come out uh, in the days and weeks to come as the investigation uh, into this incident continues. Uh, however, one thing is sure, deputies want everybody to know that if you're feeling depressed, if you're feeling suicidal, there is help out there for you. And the great starting point for that is to get that help by dialing 988 on your phone for the National uh, Suicide and Crisis Hotline. Again, that number for help is 988. We're live in Sanford. Matt Trezza, Fox 35 News.